This is Dabu 7. It looks like things are heating up a little bit between North Korea and China. Now, Trump came out here a few months ago and said that China had full control of North Korea and that if they didn't want to do something about them, then they would make life difficult for China in terms of trade. What has happened, though, here in the meantime is, is China has turned the tables on North Korea and they have announced a ban on coal for 2017, starting in 2017. And this is in response to North Korea continuing this ballistic missile test and their nuclear capabilities. Now, although China has stood with North Korea and backed them as an ally, they have stood with the UN against these tests. So they're looking to directly affect them by cutting off a huge chunk of cash that North Korea takes in specifically from sending coal into China. They had stopped a larger vessel, but it gets deeper than this. Check this out. China has made the announcement that they are taking the necessary measures to safeguard national security in the event of the collapse of a neighboring North Korean regime. They are looking at the recent assassination of his brother that I covered, taken out in an airport. People think that they're trying to eliminate any other branch of the Un family. They could try to take over power, even if they didn't want to. And last but not least would be Kim Jong-un himself. So at this point, things are heating up with North Korea claiming they're not going to stop with these tests. They have a missile. They can strike whoever. They have nuclear capabilities. And there's always, they always are out there popping off the mouth, threatening people. Well, it seems now that it's caught China's attention. It, it, it seems to serve as a thorn in China's side somewhat because even though they're their ally, they almost can't trust them. They wonder if they're going to pop off a nuke at them. That's where it sits. So you best believe that there's Chinese operatives and everything else all over this on the inside. Operatives from other alphabet gangs from around the globe. And we've often talked about this North Korean puppet state set up and what's going on there and the depiction and how everything always plays out. But the reality is this, if China is expecting North Korea and this regime to fall... That means they have to have some kind of plan here in regards to who's going to rise to power. You know, normally when you see these coups and these assassination attempts going down in countries, and if they're successful, they already have a plan in place for who they want to put in power, who's going to take that seat, so on and so forth. It will be interesting to see how things pan out from here. And if things start to heat up, what will a coup end up looking like within North Korea? Will he? Will inside factions turn on one another? Will we start to see crazy stuff inside North Korea where the military turns against uh, the establishment of Kim Jong-un's administration? We'll see. I would keep an eye on it because it really looks like he's a, he's a prime target at this point. And, you know, I would not be surprised one bit if you woke up one day to hear reports of a mushroom cloud emanating off that Korean peninsula. It's been prophesized and everything else. And with the way they're going, if anyone feels them as being a true threat, they would do a decapitation strike. But you never know. Anything can happen. Any kind of folly, especially when guys got nukes over here, just never know. But interesting that China is prepping for the collapse of this regime. I think it's something to pay attention to. I'll leave a link. It's been Dabu7. Peace.